behind. This is where you'll find me every day. But not, not for too long. Anywhere between like 20 and 30 minutes. Depends how long it feels like it takes for me to warm up. Now this is a considerable reduction in cardio that I had been doing because my goal had been obviously to lose as much muscle as possible and uh, that led me up until a, a few months ago I'd say when uh, I was preparing for certain endurance events I did a half Ironman it was my last event did some half marathons and stuff like that and uh, then I pretty much did nothing and um, I was still doing some cardio, quite a bit of cardio, not as much as I was, but I was kind of in the abyss. I just had stem cell treatment, so I was kind of recovering from that as well. And uh, so now, with this cardio, it's quite a reduction. And with the massive increase in meals, at least you know, six meals a day, including my shapes, you know, um, I find that I'm able to put on weight very, very quickly, very quickly. But I've got to make sure that it's the right weight. So I will slightly increase my cardio time and, in car and cardio frequency. So over the weekend here, I'm doing two cardios. Uh, this is, you know, I'll, I'll do car two cardios in a day. So, um, you know, like on a Saturday and a Sunday, I'll do double cardio, so I'll probably take the dog out for a walk, maybe a bit of a run as well, later on this afternoon, this evening, so I'll count that as another cardio session, you know. And what this does is help improve the efficiency of the food that I'm taking in. I'm obviously taking a calorie surplus, making sure it's the right calories, of course, however, I want to utilize that efficiently. I want it to make sure that it gets into the muscles to help me recover. And uh, so, you know, that is the main focus. And to spike the metabolism. So if I'm spiking the metabolism at the same time, again, that's going to prevent any fat gain and I can utilize that. And I find that if I'm doing some cardio efficiently, it allows me to recover because the blood flow is my transporter of nutrients to the localized areas that I'm working. So the better the blood flow through exercise, through my supplementation of the cage muscle citrulline, I'm able to constantly recover, remove myself of toxins, acids, lactic acid, and replace that with oxygen-rich and nutrient-rich blood. But of course, the main reason why I suggest everybody do cardio is because you're working the most important muscle in your body and that's your heart. So quite often, especially in this day and age, we look at things like Instagram, YouTube, and we see these physiques and we instantly want that success, we want that physique. Not even considering your health, not even considering your heart, your kidneys, your liver, your overall mental state of being, which should be your priority. I've said it many times, I want to increase my health span. I want to be a millennial. I want to live until one past 100 years old. But I don't want to get there with you know, eyesight, my hearing, need double hip replacements. I've got a lot of medical conditions I need to see to because I was eating sugars, because I was eating trans fats. I was eating ingredients that my body couldn't recognize because I couldn't even pronounce them. No, everything that I eat, every training protocol, every time I do a bed, I want to make sure that I'm healing my future and not harming it. You'll hear me repeat that all the time. We make so many decisions every single day and it's so easy for us to make a lot of bad decisions. You know, bodybuilding to me should be very healthy. Hybrid athleticism should be very healthy. That's why I like to do my forms of cardio, whether it be on my Vasa trainer, which is my swim erg, which is over there. Basically, it mimics swimming. Or I have my bike that uh, this 
camera is stood upon, or my curved treadmill here. And I like to do different forms of activity and cardio because it's mentally stimulating as well. That's why I like to obviously do some of my cardio outdoors, get my vitamin Ds. So anyway, what I've been doing here is 10 minutes, steady state, and then I'll go into 10 minutes, hit interval cardio to really increase my fitness or maintain my fitness as I put on weight. Because you know, I want to make sure that I do stay cardiovascularly, I have good cardiovascular conditioning at the same time. So I'll go 40, uh, 30 seconds as fast as I can, and then 40 seconds, no, 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 I'll go, sorry, 20 seconds as fast as I possibly can, sprinting, and then 40 seconds power walk, and then 20 as fast as I can, 40 seconds power walk. Yep, I am in the shower, don't worry. I will not record from the neck down. But, ooh, you won't see any steam from there because it's freezing cold. So I've just finished my cardio. Now I'm gonna jump straight in this cold shower. I'll generally be in there for about three to five minutes. This is how I hack myself into the shower. Because do I wanna get in the shower? No, I don't wanna get in there at all. So this is what I do. I or I wet myself really quickly, I jump underneath there, cover myself in water, jump back out because I'm pretty much hyperventilating at that time, and then I'll lather myself from head to toe in soap. So now I have to go back under the shower in order to cleanse myself or clean myself. So what I like to do is try to get it on my neck, try to get it on my vagus nerve, in my occipital nodes, my inguinal nodes of the lymphatic system. Those are the areas that's really going to be essential. And you know, it'll shut down the inflammation. It's great to mobilize fatty acids into the bloodstream. And uh, it, it's really exhilarating. It's, am it's, it's amazing what it can do for your mental tenacity. It'll get you through mental blocks. If you're a little bit tired in the morning, it really wakes your ass up. But I will take this before bed and I find this very relaxing as well. It's, ex it's exhilarating. And then when you get into the bed, it's nice and warm and cozy. You just knock yourself out. So I suggest that you do this to increase your disciplinary actions of yourself. Today, in, this t in today's society, we are fucking pussies. Our testosterone levels are going down, estrogen levels are out of control. People are losing their fucking masculinity and it makes me sick. This is just a very, very, very small thing that you should do every single day to do shit that you don't want to do. You know, there's a lot of stuff that we, we seek comfort, we seek comfortability, we, we procrastinate, we want everything today, we don't look at sacrifice, we only look at success. Start making fucking sacrifices such as this, do shit that you don't want to do on a daily basis to increase that disciplinary action and start increasing your fucking masculinity. I'm going in. We are on top of a place that's called Table Rock. If you look down there, you can see the trail that we just hiked up, winding all the way down there way to very far distance where the cars are parked so this is what I considered my afternoon cardio we made sure that it is consistent didn't stop along the way probably about 30 to 40 minutes coming up here will be easy on the way down but got the heart rate up got a sweat going slate is thirsty Jag has been drinking out of the rock pool there so it's probably time for us to go back down but I do encourage you to get outside and do some of your cardio as well you'll be surprised how awesome you feel when you get this shots of vitamin D in the morning or at lunchtime again in the evening it just makes you feel a lot better as opposed to being stuck in a gas chamber which I call air conditioning or heating or anything like that where you're exposed to a lot more mold toxins get outside if you have the opportunity get some fresh air even if you are in a city just get out and get some natural lighting penetrating your eyes get the restorative red rays as opposed to just the blue light and uh, you'll just feel so much better for it. If the weather's shit, doesn't matter. Lace up and get out there.